I am never going to the gym again. Uh, yeah, I very much have to cover that because I have no idea whether or not YouTube has that level of interpretation to be able to tell that this was very much somebody with a male anatomy. And I, I freaking hate you because I know Planet Fitness is like a judgment-free zone. But yeah, no, everybody, somebody's got to have a little bit of judgment here. You know, it's called standards. You can't just do a set, be all frilly-willy, and think that you can just get away with not wiping down your equipment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash trashy, and uh, let me know down below. Do you think we're honestly getting closer to Idiocracy or Wally -E being the non-fiction film? Because at this point, I honestly don't know. But if you guys like to be absolutely amazing, show your support. See more videos like this one in the near future. Be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions because based on that first one sweet jesus will need it and if you have not already subscribed to the channel and turn on them notifications we're getting pretty close to that 70,000. if we could hit that that'd be darn dandy a super duper awesome okie doke let go trouble they should is here to stay deal with it cry baby snowflakes time to make them cry again get on board or get run over again Ru run over yeah no fantastic grammar by the way why is this on a hearse no seriousness like what where all the trash Chevy Tahoe's and Dodge Rams taken. The level of confusion that I have just for the sole fact that this is on a hearse is something I was not expecting. It's gotta be like one thing I've noticed is whenever there's like these conspiracy vehicles, religious vehicles, or super political vehicles of the sort, all on like minivans, old trucks, or something like that, it's just, uh, there's no way I can take you seriously. Sharing this in hopes that someone knows these people. They came into a family wedding last weekend at this place to blend in and the crowd and steal which they did. This was the one dark spot to an otherwise beautiful day for the bride and groom. Hoping they're stopped and don't do this to other people. Yeah, you know, how boring is your life where you think a source of entertainment is blending in with a wedding thinking you could do a stealth mission to steal stuff from the wedding? Tweedledee and Tweedledum Dum here really didn't have anything better to do with their life, so for some reason that being a good idea went through their head. A fish tank and fish trying to get it gone uh, cannot care for it any longer. Longer. One of the main things going through my head is like, why don't you have any bit of decor in there whatsoever? You essentially just have a fish in a water box. Also, for some reason, I was thinking that you didn't expect the fish to live that long. Um, if, it, um, if what I'm guessing is correct, that's an African cichlid, which are a very hardy species of fish and can live for a pretty darn long time. First off, you have this listed for $200. I very much doubt you'll even be able to get $50 for anything because uh, very much you then also have to factor in somebody who's willing to uh, take the fish off your hands and I'm fairly certain that that's going to be a bit of a hassle, considering that tank probably weighs upwards of about three to 400 pounds. Woman, 37, stabs husband multiple times after finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was thinner. Look, I I've seen what I look like 70 pounds ago, and I almost didn't recognize myself, but that was only for about five seconds. How stupid do you have to be to be dead set that you don't notice yourself at a lower weight? Not only that, but get pissed off at your significant other and stab them. This is just straight up like Super Saiyan 3 level of stupid. Like this is dum dum levels above an ascended dum dum. Uh, yeah, no, just great. A certified classic for the r slash trashy, the I can whip my feet out whenever I want kind of post. I, I, I'm seeing enough of these where I straight up just feel it in the force that I'm going to Colorado in about 10 days, I am not going to be surprised if I happen to see somebody whipping their feet out at the airport. I don't understand why there can be people that are so oblivious to their surroundings that they think that they can just whip out their feet and, what is this, clean their nails? Look, I'm not going to bat an eye if you happen to be wearing flip-flops walking around because that is a form of shoes, but if you start picking at your feet, yeah, no, I'm out. I'm guessing they got beef with the neighbor. Look, this isn't entirely trashy, but I gotta admit, if you if you did that by hand, that is impressive. Plus, in all serious, this is the type of thing that I would do if my neighbor was being petty. Like, my neighbors have these three little dogs which bark non-stop every single time I go out in the back half of my property, and I absolutely hate that because they do not do a single thing. So honestly, I feel like this would be something that I would do. And for the people that were complaining about it being a middle finger, it was like, look, in all honestly, if, if the dude has the skills to carve out a hand, finger, and everything, you know for a fact he could have carved a dong but didn't. Is there anyone that would feel any type of way about us going to dinner Saturday? I mean, my girl won't be happy but it's cool. Girl? As in, you have a girlfriend? Hello, well, something like that. 
I'm not finna drop her until after the date. I gotta see if you're worth it. <laughs> LOL. If that makes sense. Hey, goodbye, sir. Dang, you're not competitive at all. And you're an absolute dum-dum because you don't even think for a second about what, why what you're doing is absolutely horrible. People shouldn't treat other people on dates like jobs. You shouldn't have the next person lined up before you're finished with the first person. And the way I see it, if you're on a date with somebody and you find out that they actually are already in a relationship, date's over. You should go. Away. Right now. That's it. No debating. That's not cool at all. If I was on a date with somebody, and found out that they were in a relationship no that'd be like a hard handbrake kind of pull like that is, the date is over and we are done while at the same time i hope that your significant other finds out what you've been doing behind their back welcome to emporia the caption i think said it was in kansas i don't know i just now remember never to go to emporia because i swear i'm wondering if this is on the back of Porta potties. Men sucking the babblers is normal because the act was learned during their childhood. But what baffles me is ladies sucking dong. Where did they learn that from? Your mama never bought you a lollipop, eh? What did you think she was training you for? Diabetes? That's gotta be like the worst instance of somebody trying to shoehorn the whole start him young kind of phrase into something. Because I'm fairly certain you now just ruin lollipops for a whole lot of people. Okay, look, I don't care what animal you have unless it is a licensed service animal do not bring it into the grocery store i've taken my own snake with me into my own work but that's because i work at a pet store where pets are allowed very much don't do this to anywhere else that's not actually a pet store or to any place that doesn't say you're allowed to bring in everyday regular pets i think outside of pet stores in my area you're allowed to bring them into tractor supply stores home depot and lowe's but don't bring your everyday regular pet into some place like kroger safeway or harris teeter because in my pet store i go with there with a little bit expectation that I'm likely going to have to clean up animal droppings. That is very much not something that goes through your everyday grocery store employee, though. It's one thing if it's like a service dog or actual licensed animal that's supposed to be there doing a service for the person there, but if it's your everyday animal, like, imagine if instead of it was a snake, it was like a Yorkie or a parakeet or a monitor lizard, please don't bring him into just every store you go into. I love pets and I want to pet them all, but please do not bring him into places they are not normally allowed to go into, unless they are given exceptions, such as service animals. Just married and horny honeymooners. Living life, making memories, flash a smile if you're happy or horny. Uh, can you at least wait until you get back to the hotel room to get the thing going? I don't want to see you trying to swerve around the road. Wendy Williams has a colorful list of things she would rather do than return to TV after her daytime talk show was replaced by one hosted by Sherry Shepard. What I want to do is podcast, and I would love to fall in love. I want to F, she said. Every time I see Wendy Williams or anything regarding Wendy Williams, I always keep on forgetting that she exists, and then I also dislike the fact that I remember that she exists, and I very much hope to go back to that mental state, because last I checked, she was been making fun about people on her podcast or whatever her show it is now, and uh, it's not really cool. Also, on multiple occasions, she has been proven to be the type of person that is willing to say stuff about somebody, but when that same thing is then said about her, then it becomes an issue. If you're willing to open your mouth, you should be prepared to take the same things you're being said taken back at you. As much as we would love for you to attend, sadly, our venue cannot accommodate everyone. Oh, we are sure to keep you in our hearts in this celebration of love. If you would like to congratulate the bride and groom rather than a registry, they are accepting money to aid in a beautiful honeymoon. So yeah, bottom line, we're making sure that you know that you're not invited, but hey, if you want to still send us money, here you can just do that right then and there. What are you gonna do next? If I scroll down any farther, is it gonna show a Cash App link? This is just a more formal version of people putting their Venmos on the back of their Ultima saying, hey, I just turned 21, Cash App or send me money. Caption said when you wanted a Jeep but have to complain about the mileage and everything. Nah, this ain't even having to do anything to do with a Jeep. This is weight reduction. That's a racer. You know, this thing has a solid quarter mile time. It'd be a good solid 26 freaking seconds. Camaro held together by duct tape and a whole bunch of stickers? Yeah, congratulations, Florida man. You made the ship a Theseus. But do riddle me this. How many times have you gone over a speed bump? Was it your front or back bumper that fell off? We do not accept boob money. Some people in the captions were saying, like, it all spends the same, but uh, at the same time, I work as a cashier, and we have had days where I break a sweat just walking from my car to the door for my work. 
If I have to ring out a wet dollar bill on a clothesline because you decided to walk around with it in your bra tucked away and it got all sweaty and everything, we should not be allowed to take it. Same thing that goes with dudes and putting the money in your sock. That is another thing I will not understand and I don't think we should have to accept cash that comes from any place that is sweaty. And the people that say, oh, well, it's still money. It is still spends the same. It's like, all right, then you ring it out. I already have to deal with enough soggy stuff whenever I have people bring up dog toys that they very much let their dog play with but didn't give me a heads up that it was moist. I don't want to have to deal with sogginess that comes from human beings too. Ah, uh, look, you'd be sitting in first classy, but you're definitely not classy yourself. Definitely very much so first trashy. You guys can pretty much guarantee that if I have to deal with feet on my flight to Colorado that uh, y'all guys are going to very much see photos of it and videos of it because I will have my GoPro with me. I've been to the Denver airport. I was told that there is some kind of construction conspiracy thing at the entrance, but I didn't get to go over there before because I was just over there on a layover. Uh, but but uh, yeah, no, I'm very much going to get to see that. So maybe some of the stuff in Colorado that I go see will actually wind up in the video. And I'm thinking, cool, because, you know, a little bit of vlog footage to go in the video. But then I'm also realizing what video it'll likely wind up in. Then I'm thinking, oh, no. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Let me know down below what type of video game footage you'd like to see in the background, because I'm always up for trying new video games. I mean, heck, I want to get into Twitch streaming come early 2023, so yeah, that would be fantastic. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.